the near close near back rounded vowel or near high near back rounded vowel is a type of vowel sound used in some vocal languages. The IPA symbol that represents this sound is it is informally called horse Prior to 1989, there was an alternate IPA symbol for this sound, called closed omega. Use of this symbol is no longer sanctioned by the IPA. In Americanist phonetic notation, the symbol is used. The Handbook of the International Phonetic Association defines as a mid-centralized close back rounded vowel, therefore, an alternative transcription of this vowel is used. However, some languages, such as Korean and Swedish have the near close back rounded vowel, which differs from its near back counterpart in that it is a lowered but not centralized close back rounded vowel, transcribed in the IPA as U or O. The IPA prefers the terms close and open for vowels, and the name of the article follows this. However, a large number of linguists, perhaps a majority, prefer the terms high and low. A few languages also have the near close near back unrounded vowel in their inventory. Near close near back protruded vowel. The near close near back protruded vowel is typically transcribed in IPA simply as, and that is the convention used in this article, as there is no dedicated diacritic for protrusion in the IPA. Symbol for the near close near back rounded vowel with an old diacritic for labialization can be used as an ad hoc symbol for the near close near back protruded vowel. Another possible transcription is or, but this could be misread as a diphthong. The near close back protruded vowel found e, g, in Korean can be transcribed u, or u, features its vowel height is near close, also known as near high, which means the tongue is not quite so constricted as a close vowel. Its vowel backness is near back, also known as back central or centralized back, which means the tongue is positioned as in a back vowel, but slightly further forward in the mouth. Its roundedness is protruded which means that the corners of the lips are drawn together and the inner surface is exposed. Dot. Occurrence near close near back compressed vowel. Some languages, such as Norwegian, are found with a near close near back vowel that has a distinct type of rounding, called compressed or exolabial. There is no dedicated diacritic for compression in the IPA. However, the compression of the lips can be shown with the letter beta as beta or. The spread lip diacritic may also be used with a rounded vowel letter as an ad hoc symbol, though technically spread means unrounded. Only the Shanghainese dialect is known to contrast this with the more typical protruded near close near back vowel, although the height of both of these vowels varies from close to close mid. The near close back compressed vowel found e g in Swedish can be transcribed beta or u. Features its vowel height is near close, also known as near high, which means the tongue is not quite so constricted as a close vowel. Its vowel backness is near back, also known as back central or centralized back, which means the tongue is positioned as in a back vowel, but slightly further forward in the mouth. Its roundedness is compressed which means that the margins of the lips are tense and drawn together in such a way that the inner surfaces are not exposed. Dot. Occurrence Bibliography 